Hey everybody. So today we did last feeding for the fall, I think. Um, it's a gorgeous 80 degree day here in Colorado. And with the way things are looking, the upcoming week, I'm pretty sure this will be the last time I get in these hives and fill up their feeders. Let them start settling down for winter, basically. The other thing I did today, besides feed them their two-to-one syrup, is I took supers off of these two hives. I had left them on for the past oh, month and a half, I guess, just to see if they wanted to store anything up there. Um, but compared to this blue super on my carniolan hive they really haven't done anything this blue super probably weighs a good 40 pounds right now so i'm going to leave that on for the winter that's theirs they get to enjoy that and enjoy their hard work that they did <laughs> and they'll have a good food supply for the winter but the other two supers i took off and right now I've just got stuff hanging out over here until tonight when uh, all the bees have put themselves to bed and I can move them up to the shed. But, you know, in the two months that these have been on the hives, you know, they, you can see right through them, obviously. <laughs> got a good look over there. And they're just, they're using too much time and energy, really, getting this close to winter. I mean, you can see they, they've tried, they've got a little bit of comb started there, but as we know, that's a lot of hard work for them to build that honeycomb. So I just went ahead and took them off and have them focus their energy on those two bottom brood boxes and get those ready for winter there. There's been a lot of pollen coming in today, which is a lot of fun to see. A lot of orange. I have to figure out where that pollen's coming from, but it's pretty fun to see. So, my next step, and probably my final step, in getting the bees here ready for winter, are gonna be my quilt boxes. I am waiting for those to arrive, and then in the next video, I'll walk you through all those steps that I'll be doing to get those uh, quilt boxes or moisture boxes, whatever you want to call them, on the hives and getting these bees all settled in for winter because it's going to get cold pretty soon. So we'd love to have you follow along and subscribe to our channel here at Picture Perfect Apiary and we will see you next time.